pull up the source code of the page and on the source code actually locate the keywords that the fellow is using. Take a look at this. These are a bunch of keywords. It's hard to read only because of all the percentage sign 20s. Well, the Web Scraper Plus software will allow me to convert these percentage sign 20s into spaces so I can read each of these words separately. Uh, or I could have it dump into an Excel page and convert these to commas if I really wanted. Uh, or I could have them convert to spaces, but I have them auto fill in different places and I can have them arranged with commas. And now what do I have? I have a full listing of keywords that's used by any of these guys. Now, I'm not saying that the point for you is to copy the keywords, but I'm saying that these are great keyword ideas, that these keywords are probably helping this video to show up for these different searches. But it doesn't mean that all these keywords actually apply to you in any way. What about eBay? Maybe your video has nothing at all to do with eBay. Maybe your video has nothing to do with AdSense. This isn't meant to just simply copy. It's meant to base models on. Uh, and here's some search query strings. It's kind of interesting. I wonder what that's all about. It might be neat to capture a bunch of these and look for repeating patterns or similarities and things like that. Anyway, I could create a program that did that with the Web Scraper software you'll be downloading. And so I don't know if anyone has any interest. But for those of you who do go as far as to download that Net Framework 3.5 Service Pack 1, it's free and it's good and healthy for your computer if you're running Windows XP or Windows Vista. And I'll just say that, of course, it's Microsoft's product. I can't vouch for how it'll operate on your computer or what's, you know, what's the haps on your computer. I can't know these things, you know, download it at your own risk. But it is a Microsoft product that's specifically meant uh, to be run on most computers that are driven by Windows XP or Windows Vista anyway. And so if you download that, then you're able to download the Web Scraper Plus software. And if you download this as well, then I can actually send you a package that works. And what I'll send you for free is exactly that package I just created to be able to lay out a single list of all the YouTube users. Matter of fact, let me see if I have a copy here still. From the last run I did, I did a run for AdWords actually, but I only did a couple of pages. I wanted to do a quick test run. And you'll see in this first column all of the actual YouTube users that had at least one video show up for the keyword AdWords. And if I scroll down, that's 1,511 different users. Now, beyond that, I used something else uh, called Web Macros. It's also available from VelocityScape.com. And also, if you do go to buy the Web Macros uh, program, then get a hold of me first. Do not buy it through VelocityScape any more than you would buy the Web Scraper Plus through VelocityScape. Buy it through me. That way I get a commission. And with that commission, I owe you back. And that means that I'll give you one or more combination of packages uh, and show you how to use them and so forth. But if you think it's interesting to get this information, that information was all the users. So I could just go and subscribe to all their pages. And to clarify, because I didn't, what I did with the Web Macro software here was I got the Web Macro software to go to every one of these user pages and hit the subscribe link. <laughs> So I actually got the software to subscribe me to everyone's pages. And it was doing it at a rate of several hundred per minute. Uh, and then, just to further test it, when you do subscribe, then the way to unsubscribe, frankly, is to hit the same button. Well, that's what Web Macros does anyway. It actually makes it possible to hit buttons on a particular page. Web Macros can identify what a button is. And if it's a repeating pattern from page to page, then you can hit a whole lot of buttons automatically. So I had it run back through and manually unsubscribe me 
from everything I just subscribed to. And again, it did it to 100 per minute. I mean, it took care of it right away. So if I was trying to test uh, the subscription thing. I could do it with blocks of people at a time, or if I wanted to sign up to several people's accounts at one, well, their their channels at one time, and see what sort of information they're putting out, whether they're putting out new videos these days, whether their training is any good, I could do that. Uh, so anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. I'm not exactly certain what we'd want to do with it just yet. Uh, some feedback from those of you who are interested in seeing me develop on that package let me know if you really want to see a lot of information you know I could actually get you all this information for every user and so forth you know things like this are easy enough I could even get uh, the opening paragraph for every user and you could literally read through it and see what you think of these guys without having to try to find them all dig through all the pages of results and so forth and you could even order all these guys by the number of views they're getting on their particular videos it's even possible to do a summation on all the videos that show up for a given keyword, a summation of all the views and add them up. And then that way, if, if this guy puts out a video that does not get a lot of views, but does show up for the word hours, but he puts out another video that gets a whole lot of views, then what I get is a summed whole lot of views for this guy for the word AdWords. So all this kind of thing can be done with a Web Scraper Plus uh, software, and this is simple. I can create the packages, send them to you, and with minor modifications to the packages uh, to work with your particular download paths, you're suddenly able to use them and do things with them. And all I need from you, really, are ideas of what you want. So I know it's a chunk to buy, but that's why it has a free trial. And all you would have to do for the Craigslist thing, for instance, is pay me for the Craigslist package, and that's $250, and that would be a payment to my PayPal account. I'll just put it up here purely for the record. PayPal at PayPal at website marketing solutions.com. And again, when you pay, it's really obvious to me what you're paying for because I'm only doing this right now. I've just gotten going again. So if you're paying $250, it's obvious you're paying for the package. If you're paying $750, that means you're paying for the package and the Web Scraper Plus software. So I'll get a hold of Velocityscape and I'll get the unlock codes for your install and then I'll help you install it and set up the package and make sure you can operate it properly.